Welcome my beautiful Virgos. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of July the 26th to August the 1st, 2021. This is a general, that means that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does resonate with. If you want to know the cards I'm using here today for this week, they're all posted below in the information box, along with how to contact me for a private reading. Please know that I am booking up. I've just caught up again, and um, my week is pretty much filled, but uh, I will be taking appointments for next week if you want to get in with me. Okay, let's see what we have, my beautiful Virgos. Let's see what we have here. What do they need to see, Spirit? What do they need to know? What do they need to expect? Past, present, and future energy, please, Spirit. All right. Let's see what we have here, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos. Coming in with in, in uh, behind you, your first card is the Six of Swords. Let's see what we have here. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, and we have the Two of Cups. Coming in in the center position. Three cards for the Spirit. Thank you. You have the Hangman in your crowning position now. Whoops. Too many Spirit. Again. You have the crowning position, you have the Ten of Wands, and you have the Page of Wands. Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Okay. Coming in towards you. What do you need to see? There they are. All three of them. Thank you, Spirit. You have the Four of Wands, you have the Justice card, and you have the Page of Swords. You've got three pages here, all bringing you different messages about different things. So this is interesting. Um, I'm liking it. Okay, starting off with your all over energy, you have been given uh, the card, the Eight of Cups. And this is saying you have the need to move on. You're going in a new direction. You're walking away from something. And you're choosing to make a big life changes right now for yourself. Know that you need to maintain balance. You could be leaving home. You could be going uh, out there on your own, forging out. And you're changing up your priorities right now. So I do think that you're seeking more from life and you need to move on. You need to go in this direction. You know there's a better future for you out there and you're forging ahead to do that beautiful now your first energy card that you have here is the mask so be careful beware someone could be talking out of the side of their mouth or they might not be telling you the whole truth so help them god or they could be portraying something that they're not uh, keep your eyes open remember love is blind be careful if you're being drawn into some sort of um some sort of an energy field of love or someone's pulling you into their to their center uh, of their energy here. They could be not telling you everything that they want you to know. They're only telling you certain things. So be sure that you do your research on this person. Don't allow yourself to get caught up by some uh, somebody who isn't telling you the whole truth. Uh, be careful. Somebody could be wearing a mask in a relationship here and they're only telling you what they want you to hear or what they think you would like to hear. So do your research. Okay, coming in with your next card that from the angel messages you have from the wisdom deck, okay? You have time to take action. Start new projects, work on new ideas and nurture and care for yourself. So I think you're moving in a new direction. As I said here with the Eight of Cups, um, you're moving in a new direction. Maybe you're leaving somebody here who hasn't been completely upfront and honest with you. And you caught them at it and you've decided, I'm out of here. I'm moving out of here. I'm going on my own. And this is beautiful because you have this ability now to take on new jobs, go in a new direction, take on new projects and carrying for yourself. This is about you doing what you want to do for you now. 
you've got the apple and the apple says temptation will test you be careful be careful you're not being drawn into something that you know uh, love is blind as they say or if it looks too good to be true chances are that it is I think you know for some of you it might be a relationship that's coming into place somebody might be wanting to befriend you or uh, somebody may be wanting to pull you into their energy of, of affection and love uh, to court and date you but I would be very careful you might be tempted to go there but at the end of the day you're going to find out you know like the temptation here the snake okay there's a snake out there and uh, once they get caught they have this nasty way of striking out so be careful uh, don't be tempted into something or talked into something this week whether it's uh, you know a career move whether it's a relationship a friendship something like that be careful be on your guard be cautious but I think you found something out and that's made you decide to go in a better direction you're saying I'm out of here I'm done and this is about me now and I'm gonna find a brand new direction take on new projects you know and new ideas and taking care of myself now coming in behind you you do have the six of swords you have the page of Pentacles and you have the two of cups so I do think that, you know, for some of you, uh, you are leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores. You're leaving some challenges behind. And again, we go back to this Eight of Cups, knowing there's a better direction, a new, a new, a new journey for you to be on, a better place to be. And, you know, you're going to still have a few challenges along the way, but the worst is going to be over. For some of you, it could have been a divorce or a breakup of some sort, uh, the end of a situation or a relationship. And it could have actually had to do with legal matters as well. Maybe it's a divorce. Maybe it's a legal separation. You're moving out and you're going, uh, you're leaving that and you're going on your own because they weren't completely truthful and honest to you. Now, the Page of Pentacles comes in underneath that. And this is telling me that you're going to hear good news. And it's good news about finance. This is a beautiful card. When the Page of Pentacles shows up, it could be advancement, it could be a promotion, it could be unexpected money, it could be a windfall, it could be uh, an inheritance, a settlement of anything like that, or even a raise in your pay. But it is good news about finances. So I think for some of you, maybe you are leaving a relationship behind and you've settled it legally and you're going to get what you deserve. It could have been a love relationship here, but this card, the Two of Cups, says this could be... Um, sorry, this could be a relationship here new coming into you. Maybe some of you are going in a new direction towards a new relationship. You've ended a toxic one maybe and you're going in a new direction. This is always about compassion, love, kin, you know, kindred spirits and taking a, a relationship possibly to the next level. But I always look at it as partnership as, as well. So, you know, maybe you're going to hear about good news about the finances that's saying, hey, we want to go, we want to bring you in as a partner. We want to bring you into the business with us to help make you grow and expand and to find that you can have uh, you know uh, abundance coming into you as well now coming in in your center position let's go right into our our crowning energy and that is the ten of wands and again you felt as though you were maybe some of you were in a one-sided relationship putting all the work and effort into it and you finally had enough of it and you said I'm out of here I don't want to do this anymore for others you could just have been taking on more responsibility burdens of others or too much of a workload and you're lightening that you're letting that go you're walking away you're saying I don't need to carry this anymore I'm going on my own and it's the end of that situation and you're doing it and you're going to find this next leg and part of your journey is going to be much easier for you. It's going to go much smoother and better for you. The hangman talks about being in limbo, not being able to get moving quick enough, pause in your in the energy level around you. Things are sort of at a stalemate type of thing. Um, but you're hanging there in limbo waiting for something to happen. And I think you, you have this ability to get out of this situation uh, and you're doing it. Um, you, you While you were there, you've done a lot of contemplating, a lot of reflecting, a lot of thinking about something and making plans. So when you get down, you're going in that direction. You're going to hit the ground running, going towards that one goal for you page of pentacles pardon me page of wands comes in like i said you have three the swords the, the wands and the pentacles now this is new opportunity this is you know feeling liberated being able to go towards your goals keeping your eyes open to go into new things don't be afraid to do that again i think some of you could be getting offers here maybe you're going to be signing contracts and documents that is going to lead you to better success uh in the future so keep your eyes open for that the page of wands brings always brings news about adventure and exciting things and new endeavor and new and you 
you know, you're going in a new direction. You're taking on new projects. It's all about that in this reading. So beautiful. Coming in towards you, you have the Four of Wands. Get ready to celebrate. You have the Justice card and you have the Page again of Swords. So I think some of you saw the truth in a situation. You might have ended something legally with somebody, a partnership of some sort, and you're moving forward. Once this Page comes in, sometimes it's about hearing things that... Um, sorry, I'm going to turn that off. Sometimes it's about hearing messages uh, that come in from this page and you don't think that they should have been the one that blurted out that news. Don't worry about it. It was meant for your ears to hear and, you, and it's finally been conveyed to you. Often it could be of a legal matter. It could be the truth that came out. It could have been this situation here with somebody not being honest with you, wearing a mask and hiding things from you. But now you're able to go forward in a progressive, modern, <clears throat> progressive happy, more, uh, you know, much better direction. Four of Wands, you're going to have reason to celebrate. Great accomplishments. Maybe you're moving and maybe you're going to, you know, and it talks about moving and relocating as well. Uh, or celebrating something, an accomplishment that you met, you made uh, along the way here. And maybe that was walking in that new direction, giving up some toxic energy around you and realizing that you matter and you're going to make yourself happy now. Having the free will to do that. But it could also be an, event, uh, an announcement of a happy occasion, an event. Maybe it's a reunion, the announcement of a... Uh, a birth of a baby, an engagement, uh, <clears throat> a move, a new home, uh, any of those things it can be. And you're, you're going to want to get together with your friends and, you know, celebrate and say, ah, finally, I can be happy and have some fun. The Justice card says that justice is going to be served. I love this card. So I do think a lot of you are parting ways with somebody or you've had settlements being uh, dealt with and you're going to win. Um, justice means it's being served and waived in your favor. I think it's still going to be a leveling and, a, and, a, and you know, a level playing field here. Uh, you're going to be happy with what you've got. You're not going to want to fight anymore and you're going to be able to move forward with what you're going to be receiving and that is a beautiful thing. Now, coming in here with your clarification cards, let's see, Spirit, what do they need to see, what do they need to know, and what do they need to expect? Past, present, and future, please, Spirit, thank you. Let's see what we have here to tie in this room. Okay, that's on the bottom, that was on the bottom, and this is on the bottom. Okay, so coming in with your Six of Swords, you have the Two of Pentacles. Um, I think you struggled for a long time dealing with a situation that was so challenging to you, Virgo. And now, all of a sudden, you're able to step up and, you know, you need to lighten the load. You realize you're not going to take on the burden and that extra work anymore. Sometimes this refers to balancing your home life and, you know, your career. But I do think there, there were two offers, two opportunities, two choices and two decisions that you either have to make or you have made coming in with that good news about money with the page of pentacles you worried about that you felt tied down you felt as though you weren't going to see this success coming in and that was allowing yourself to get up in your head so i think you're able to move forward now you've got the good news that you need to hear about finances for some of you and don't allow yourself to get in that worry mode don't allow yourself because things um weren't happening or aren't happening quick enough for you you think they're not going to work out in your favor this is you just getting caught up in your own emotions and in your own head so let it go uh, once you remove the blindfolders and you actually step back you'll see the picture in complete clarity here and that's what's going to help you move forward but i do think you're going to see good news coming in about money and that could have been what you were worried about the the Two of Cups comes in with the Two of Wands, partnering up. You might be stepping out to go into business, and you're, you've done, you've laid your foundation stones really well uh, in, in your career, and now you're going to be able to step up and wait for your ship to come in. You're making your mark on the world. You need to commend yourself, and you have laid some good foundation stones here to move ahead in your career. Keep moving ahead. Um, you know, get off the hangman mode here and get moving towards your next goal. I think you're going to see happiness coming in, and probably it will be in your career sector the hangman you've got the sun best card in the whole deck being able to uh, see improvement in your health emotionally spiritually and physically uh, partnering up again being with someone on a soulmate level you could be meeting somebody new you could be falling in love with somebody but it means you're going to be able to make long-term plans for others being able to know that now the sun's going to shine again and all those storm clouds are moving out my beautiful beautiful virgos best card in the deck for me being happy and fulfillment and abundance 
coming in with the ten of wands you have the page of rods again uh right you know above and keeping your eyes open as you're moving in a new direction now things are going to get easier for you and you're going to see the doors opening for opportunities and new adventures coming forth don't be uh set in your ways keep your eyes open to all options coming in towards you you might surprise yourself and accept something that you thought you never would go for and you've got decisions and choices here to make uh, when these opportunities present themselves to you. So step up, think about what's good for you. I think you're making that decision to go in that new direction. You know you have a better future. So take your time. Okay, what is going to benefit you to your greater good when you get these offers coming in? Think about the benefits that they're going to bring you long term. Coming in with the Four of Wands, you have the Queen of Cups. Being able to uh, nurture yourself, take care of yourself. She's an extremely mothering feminine element uh, and energy here. She has that ability to, you know, be able to heal herself and then go out there and heal the world. Uh, she puts herself in the shoes of her court. You've heard me say this and she knows how they tick, how they feel. And I think you're going to be dealing with people in a different way. You're going to be able to be more compassionate and understanding when you're communicating with people this week. I think it's all about doing what's right for you, nurturing yourself and taking care of yourself and now finally being able to celebrate and have fun with those that do support you and care for you. The Justice card, you have the King of Cups powerful couple here. The power couple shows up together. Um, this king ha is is very good at, you know, maybe this king was the, the, the person who stepped forward and they brought the hammer down so that justice was served. Could have been your judge, could have been a judge. He's not the king of swords, but they're telling me because it landed on there, this person could have been the one that brought you that freedom, brought you that happiness and finally, and, you know, finally was there to give you the support that you needed. This king comes out with very intelligent wisdom and he he wants to step forward and he cares about you so I think someone out there is a shoulder for you to lean into or you have already uh, leaned into them they come with wonderful advice trust them they know their business and they they care for you greatly and they don't want anything they do this out of the goodness of their heart coming in with the page of swords you have the five of pentacles so you definitely had concerns about feeling lack and loss, being out in the cold, being lonely on your own, and feeling as though you were fighting the world on your own. But you also might have had concerns about finances. This card always says you have help out there. You have resources. Tap into them. This card says do not go this fight alone. Do not take this burden on by yourself. If some of you are still going through some challenges, a feeling that you're out there alone, tap into people that are out there that care for you, that actually can support you. Beautiful. Well, my Virgos, very interesting uh, reading here. But you know, you get the sun. Um, you get these beautiful cards coming in here. Good news about money. Being able to move forward. Going in a better direction now. Uh, this Most people's readings this week are all about changes and going in new directions. So, uh, you know changes in the wind for a lot of us and you're another sign that this is happening for in your reading so i think you're going to be satisfied you know some of you are going to be partnering up with somebody new others are going to be walking away from someone and uh you know i think justice is going to be served and you're going to come out ahead and you're going to be satisfied and happy you know this is the best thing for you to go forward don't be caught up and tempted to uh to step into things because you're blinded by uh you know love is blind and also uh you know someone could be coming in here wanting to sell you something and they're not really telling you the whole story don't get caught up in some business like that okay so take action and start these new projects my beautiful friends and work on these new ideas and nurture and care for yourself well this is your reading for this week my beautiful virgos and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to always be mindful what you throw out into the universe because the universe is reacting to you not happening to you keep it positive and i always leave you with this the universe and the divine your higher power wants to see you succeed wants to see you happy and have peace so surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. So please, let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and I'll see you soon. Much love and blessings, my beautiful Virgos.